This right here is the Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra S, aka the GC553 Pro. This is certainly one of the more powerful capture cards available out there, capable of recording up to 4K60, whereas most others are only capable of doing 4K30. Avermedia has sent this over to me for review, they're not reviewing this video beforehand, and most importantly, no money has exchanged hands. This is a portable capture card capable of capturing 4K at 60 frames per second. It also supports recording variable refresh rates as well, which is important because, well, some people may very well output to a variable refresh rate monitor. Inside the box is naturally the capture card itself, but in addition to the card, it also comes with a USB Type-A to Type-C cable. Now, this is USB 3, so I would definitely keep this if you don't have these on hand. And of course, an HDMI cable. It's a good time to mention, this capture card supports HDMI 2.0. Unfortunately, we don't know which version of USB 2.0 this is, as the HDMI forum has made several different versions of the HDMI 2 spec. It comes in two different colors, black or white, and in this case, I got the black unit. So this capture card is made to be portable, and it certainly is the lightest and most portable capture card I have, probably. This, however, does require a separate computer to start recording things, so your ultimate setup is going to be your console or Steam Deck or gaming PC or whatever, which goes into your capture card, which then gets plugged into a separate computer with USB. And optionally, you can plug an HDMI from your output display, like a TV or a monitor, to the capture card and have it record, and you can just play in your TV as expected instead of playing in an OBS window. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and record some footage, and I'll see you in a little bit. So the audio sounds pretty good, and the footage looks pretty good for the most part, though I do notice an unusually blue tint. This is just recording from OBS straight, no filters or anything like that. And no, it's not my monitor either, that's what the footage actually looks like. Could you fix this in post? Absolutely, you can fix anything in post. I can certainly do this in DaVinci Resolve right now. In fact, you could color grade in OBS as well if desired, but I'm not super familiar with color grading in OBS, so I'm not going to bother with that. As for setup, you could literally just plug and play, open up OBS and set everything up in OBS. You don't even need external drivers, and yes, this does work in Linux, though with limited functionality, including but not limited to actually updating the firmware for this device. You can update this firmware and do some additional features on a Mac or Windows, but not on Linux. And I guess this is where we talk about the price. This is $150. Which does sound kind of expensive till you realize this is one of the few capture cards that can actually record at 4K60. And I don't mean pass through 4K60 record at 4K30, I mean actually record at 4K60. I will say the unit does get a little toasty when you start recording at 4K, but it actually does the job. And yes, there are quite a few capture cards around this price point that don't really capture 4K60. So honestly, I think it's a great price for what it is, a 4K capture card. It's super easy to use, and you can record at 4K60, which not many capture cards do unless you have one of those super expensive ones that go inside your computer. I could see someone using this as their daily driver, but for me, this is going to be part of my portable setup because I already have a great daily driver capture card inside my PC. Which, full disclosure, yes, is Avermedia, and they did send that to me, and yes, I made a review on it earlier, so if you want to check that out, be sure to do so. Now, I may have this blue tint issue, but not everyone does, and it could just be to my HDMI cables, it could just be as simple as getting a new one. But everything else is very promising, and I can honestly recommend this. If you do get a unit that has a blue tint issue, I would definitely contact Avermedia's customer support. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech low life with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech low life, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.